Alright folks, I'm in a rush, my parents are in town, I'm going out to eat, then I have to work, so this is going to be very quick, I recorded this earlier, and now I'm just going to put it together. There's no fancy stuff about it, just hope you enjoy. Hello, it's Friday! On Friday, food is the alliterative word, and what rhymes with food? That's right! Nude! However, since this is YouTube, obviously I have to cover up a little bit. <sighs> because you don't want to see anything that might offend you. You don't want to see a penis. Oh no! Because penises are unnatural, pornographic things. <sighs> so there we go. Happy now, YouTube. Actually, no, you're probably not happy because there's a butt crack back here. So I'll do this. It gives me a sexy little, ooh. Right, food. There's lots of students out there, probably lots of students watching me. And the thing about students is they don't like to cook. So I'm going to teach you something very simple because I can't actually bring my iMac into the kitchen. In Britain, there's a big thing about beans. Beans on toast, beans on cereal, beans on your stomach, beans on your ass. I'm gonna make something with beans and it's not, I'm not even gonna to touch the oven. So let's get started, eh? Right, I've just put the kettle to boil. You can hear it going in there. These are egg noodles. Proper egg noodles. Put some salt on, pack the noodles a bit, and then wait for the kettle to boil. Pour it on the noodles. You should probably put this thing on the table because it's it's quite warm. Ow, ow. So while that's soaking, I'm just gonna prepare the other stuff. I'm gonna chop up some onion. I'm gonna put some vegetarian haggis on. I'm using about 100 grams and beans. Just a small can of beans is enough for one person. I'll be right with you. Once the noodles have soaked for about two to three minutes, just drain it. Half an onion. Vegetarian haggis. It's got lots of lovely flavour in it. It's perfect for this kind of stuff. I didn't think it would work as well as it does, but it's just, it just kind of rounds it out really well. The thing about haggis is that it doesn't taste like offal, which is basically what it is. It just tastes like spices and grains. And it's just lovely. And the beans, well, beans are beans. Baked beans are baked beans. I like baked beans. I've never tried using just kind of kidney beans or, uh, or butter beans or something like that in it, but that might be very good. Uh, try that and give me a call. Well, give me a comment. So once you've got everything in, just smush it up a bit. And obviously you don't have to use vegetarian haggis. Don't be silly. You can use ham or tuna or f chicken or nothing at all. You could just, you could just put some, put some courgettes in or squash or zucchini or, Whatever, whatever you like to just kind of fill it in. It's just to fill off, fill in the taste a bit. You can have some salt and pepper on it as well. This doesn't take a genius to do. And probably most people will, will look at this and go, oh my God, you're disgusting, Magnus. But it's easy to make, it's quick to make. Look at this, I'm gonna take this in now. Three minutes in the microwave, about 800 watts, easy peasy. If you can name that song, let me know. Tell me in the comments. So, have you been? Lovely weather. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Et voila. Simple, easy, really, really hot. And quite tasty, actually. Cheers.